10, you'll actually see that the unicorn is chained. Okay. Yeah, it has a chain running yeah. from the crown or from its neck to the main herald, heraldic symbol there. So it's all... So it's is, all. Sorry, go ahead. Well, that's just to explain that uh, the servants of the Atonists, because remember, any small, any small royal coterie has one flaw, mm. one weakness. They're too right. few. They can't operate on their own. So the whole matrix of control, the architecture of control, relies on lieutenants. So in short, what I'm saying is that the, the royal line that you find on the crests of King Richard the Lionheart, of mm. the Merovingian dynasties, wherever you see that blinking thing in Trafalgar Square, I don't care where you see that symbol, Yeah, that symbol is often shown at the stately homes and at the portals of stately homes and what have you. Mm -hmm. That represents the elite, the top-level brass. But yeah. they're nobody without their little lieutenants. And the white unicorn is the servant. But he doesn't wear the crown. He's chained. Yeah. He's, his, his allegiance is only contingent upon that he keeps doing what he does. So yeah. these Jesuits, these Zionists, uh, all of the, the Masons, the lower level Masons, yeah. these are people who run by this unicorn. They are the servants. The, they reflect the light of the sun. In, in, they reflect the light of the Atlas leaders in exactly the same way as the moon reflects the sun. Right? right. So it's a very important image here, mm. the land and the unicorn representing the ones who give the orders and the ones who execute them. Mm. It's, it's fascinating. I mean... Um... Well, uh, look at welcome. This, just to give you another, how this filters yeah. down into society. If you start seeing a massive corporation, like the massive pharmaceutical corporation, uh, welcome. They have a black horse or a black unicorn as their symbol. Right. Connect that, start connecting. The unicorn company, unicorn corporation, unicorn telecommunications, unicorn newspapers, <laughs> unicorn media. Yeah. Start thinking what these terms mean. Mm -hmm. Red Lion. Yeah. White Lion. Right? Lion Services, Lion Corporation, Lion Films, Lion Heart, Lion Gate, British <laughs> Lion. Gosh, the list goes on. Yeah. Then you understand why the world looks like the way it does. I'm not implicating everybody uses that name, but we've got to understand that these corporate entities are telling you something. Pyramid, Pinnacle. Yeah. My God, the list goes on. Yeah. I mean... You mentioned a little bit earlier about, um, you know, they haven't officially found Akhenaten's um, tomb. Is this, I mean, are they aware of where it is? Or, I mean, there was something else I wanted to ask you, actually, um, that kind of brings that in, into the uh, the forefront of my mind in regards to the possibility that, um, are you familiar with Freeman's work? Um, he, he, yeah, vaguely, yeah. Right, he kind of brings um, the concept that maybe Barack Obama could be a, a clone of Akhenaten, you know, that his... Um, genes had been preserved in order to bring him back at this time, you see. What, what's your take uh, on that, mate? I think that's total... That's too way out for me. But what I will say yeah. is that, first, there are biological descendants. Yeah. I, I would give that. But I would say that since that's almost unprovable, mm -hmm. one has to reserve that and say, let's look at these ministers as ideologically connected. Right. I think that that's your safe bet. To keep pushing... The biological is a little bit ridiculous mm. because if that even exists, yeah. it will only be in the most highest level Freemasons, the highest level royals. Mm. You know, I would I would have to stop there because at that point, anyone see you, you have to understand that these Obamas, they are at such an incredibly low level of the pyramid. Yeah, and are so expendable and disposable mm. that it is almost impossible for them to be biologically connected. I don't rule it out, but in my reading of it, it's absolutely unlikely. Yeah. They're so low down on the chain of command. They're like the big toe. Yeah. Of the body politic, you know? So yeah. I would say that, uh, I would say that the, anyone with a biological connection is further up the ladder. That does not rule out that there are these dynastic connections. I've gone, like David Icahn has gone into, gone breathless Mm. Got blue in the face, trying to show that the American presidents and the American dignitaries are all interconnected. Yeah, you know that whole thing about how 34 of the presidents or whatever is blood related to each other, and the Queen of England and all of that. Yeah, yeah. But that can be explained not by a. It's a one thing to say that they are all interrelated and bloodline. It's a different thing to say that they're related to Akhenaten from the 14, 1400 BC. Yeah, no, I can see what you're saying there. I just thought I'd, I would ask your take on that. You know. Um, and you, you've shed it, you know, a bit of light on that. So cheers for that, mate. Thanks. You there? 
Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought we'd lost you there for a minute. We've had a, a couple of little technical hicks throughout the uh, the talk. You see, you know, like uh, cutting in and out of the sound. But oh, I see. Well, I think overall we, we you can hear through them. You can hear what's being said, so um, okay. it's no issue. Um, right. Um, that's um, just about all we've got time for today, folks. Um, Michael, it's been absolutely fantastic to have you with us um, and, and to speak a little bit about these these topics. Um, it really is an honour to have you on uh, iCanPlanet.com, mate. Well, let's do it again. I enjoyed the questions. I think every single question you asked was really spot on, and you have a deep understanding of these issues. It really stands out. So, you know, congratulations, Matthew. I'm glad that, you know, it's your second interview, and I feel proud about that. And, uh, you know, definitely keep me involved and informed of what you're doing, and maybe we can do this again as well in the future. I'd love that, mate, definitely. Um, take care of yourself, mate, and... Um and I'll be in touch, yeah? Absolutely. Thanks right. a lot. Thanks a lot, Michael. Bye-bye, mate.